The previous takeoff discussion assumed that the wind was light or directly down the runway. But what do you do if you have a crosswind? A crosswind tends to push and roll the airplane to the downwind side of the runway. The nose of the airplane will also have a tendency to turn into the wind. This is known as weather veining. Some manufacturers provide crosswind component charts which list the maximum demonstrated crosswind component velocity. Before beginning the takeoff roll, check the wind sock to determine the wind direction and then position the ailerons into the wind. Full aileron deflection may be required at low speeds when control effectiveness is minimal. As the speed increases and the ailerons become more effective, you may gradually reduce the amount of aileron deflection. Hold the airplane on the runway until attaining a slightly higher than normal liftoff speed. At this point, establish the normal climb attitude by applying elevator back pressure. When the airplane is airborne, make a slight coordinated turn into the wind to establish a drift correction or crab angle. Once the correction is established, level the wings and maintain the drift correction angle to climb out along the extended runway center line. As you practice takeoffs in various wind conditions, you will become increasingly comfortable with them. 